Well, welcome to the Friday Fast, where we are taking time together as a church to pray and to fast. And all week long, we've been reading through this version plan together called Growing in Holiness that's been talking about how holiness isn't just for the Mother Teresas and the Billy Grahams and these larger-than-life spiritual figures. Holiness is for all of us. And today's reading from the version plan comes out of the, the book called Romans, which is a letter that Paul wrote. And in chapter 3, verse 22 through 24, it says this, We are made right with God by placing our faith in Jesus Christ. And this is true for everyone who believes, no matter who we are. For everyone has sinned. We all fall short of God's glorious standard. Yet God, in his grace, freely makes us right in his sight. He did this through Christ Jesus when he freed us from the penalty for our sins. I love this part of the letter where Paul talks about the freedom that we have. And what he's talking about here is how you and I, we can never live a life that is good enough to satisfy the demands of a righteous, of a just, of a perfect, of a holy God. But God makes righteousness available to us. And the way that that is available to us is by faith. And it's not a righteousness that comes from things that we do. It doesn't come from the way that we live our life. It doesn't come from things that we produce. The righteousness comes from God. And this is how it works. When we put our trust in God, we receive the righteousness of Christ. And when we believe in Jesus, what happens in that moment is that we are made holy. We are made right in God's sight. And something that our our lead pastor, Pastor Brad, said this past Sunday in his message, he said, holiness isn't something I do. It's who I am. Holiness is who I am. It's who you are. It is a life that we live because of the righteousness that we have been given because of Christ. So what we need to do and what our focus is for today is to stop trying to earn it. Stop trying to earn holiness. Just receive it. I hope you have a great day.